and my baby. This is Casper. And today we are going to officially make our YouTube comeback with the furry friend tag. Very exciting, very exciting. I missed you guys. I miss YouTube. Okay, let's go. Let's go. If you want to see uh, the vlog of me getting him, check out my last video. It's from kind of a while ago. Okay, what is your pet's name? That is question number one. My pet's name is Casper. Casper Bernard Buck. Bernard is a tribute to Bernie Sanders, not ashamed. Hashtag feel the burn. Number two, what kind of pet is it and what breed? Casper is obviously a dog and he is a, a Cavachon, which is a mix of a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and a Bichon Free. Half Cavalier, half Bichon. He's gonna go away for a second. Oh, very wriggly, that one. Number three, how long have you had your pet? I think I got him on February 20th, so yeah, it, like exactly two months I've had him. Number four, how did you get your pet? Since the beginning of this school year, so like since September, I have been just obsessed with the idea of getting an emotional support animal or a therapy dog. I have a uh, cystic... <laughs> He's staring at me. I have cystic fibrosis, which... Um, it's a chronic illness and chronic illnesses often introduce or trigger or worsen mental illnesses and I already had a predisposition to depression and anxiety both of which I have um, but anxiety is definitely my bigger issue and so I've been thinking about getting an emotional support animal for a really long time and then um, brought the idea up to my parents around Christmas time. I really wanted to adopt from a shelter or a pound because I think that you should do that whenever possible. Unfortunately, the criteria for what I needed out of my emotional support animal um, were so vast that I couldn't end up finding a dog that fit them from a shelter. You know, he's hypoallergenic for my lungs, he is small and doesn't require a lot of um, exercise, so he's a good apartment animal, he's very well tempered, so that fits into the whole therapy dog thing, but I still advocate getting your animals from shelters. Number five, how old is your pet? Casper is going to be five months next week. He's just a little puppy still. Six, what are some quirky things about your pet's personality? <coughs> well, he, uh, he hates when I leave the room. You can ask anybody who has met him if I am not in the room. He is not the happiest. If there is a bowl of water near him, he will sprint to it, lap it all up immediately, which is impressive because he's kind of a small dog, and then he'll sit there with water dripping from his beard and he'll just burp. I mean, literally there is not a dog that fits me better. I have a burping dog. Other than that, he'll just look at you and just wag his little tongue. Oh, and he has a pretty big butt. I like to call him Kim Kardashian because when he walks, it just... Yeah. Seven, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Well, he drives me up the wall. But, that be you know what? Let's get him back for this. I got him. My relationship to little Caspi Poo means a lot. Um, in terms of my depression, you know, there would be some days where... I would look out the window and it'd be dark outside and I would realize that I hadn't been outside all day and that doesn't happen anymore because you know at 8, 9 in the morning we have to go outside because we have to go potty and that really just gets my day on the right track and it keeps me from holding myself up you know and it's a real confidence booster to walk him, walk him around and have have people come up to you and say, hey, can I pet your dog? It, it like makes me feel more comfortable around people. And my anxiety, you know, whenever anything is scaring me, I just, look at this, look at him. 
I just have a little teddy bear to snuggle. Also, he's a dog, so like, I enjoy the relationship. He's a puppy. I mean, life is pretty great. Eight, what are your favorite pastimes together? We like to recline on beds and cuddle. We also like to take walks, and we like to sit on the diag at school and enjoy the sunshine, and he also just learned fetch, so that's been fun. And nine, the very last question, what are some nicknames for your pet? Obviously, I call him Caspi. Um, I told you I call him Kim Kardashian. I call him Caspi Poo. I call him Chicken Bone. I don't know why, but on the ride home from getting him, uh, I said he was my little Chicken Bone. Uh, Mr. Man, Buddy, Poop Head, that's about it. Mostly Caspi. And that's the whole tag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like getting the Casper update. He's perfect. I love him. Um, for next week's video, I would like to do a Q&A for the first time, just because I haven't given you guys an update on things like school or, or Camby or anything and there's so many things going on that I don't really know what you guys want to be updated on. So in the comments below, leave any question you have about anything or don't, that's okay too. And if there are enough, I'll make a video on your questions next week. If there aren't, then I'll just answer them in the comments and do something else. So that's all. We're gonna go now.